Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to more Cat Maze. So the last time we were together, we made it to the Lost Woods here. But we really didn't quite figure out where we were going or what we were doing. We did rescue the blacksmith, and he powered up our equipment a little bit, which I took advantage of off-screen. So our bracelets are a little stronger as a result. You jerk. That hurt. That hurt a lot. But we couldn't really figure out where we were going. Well, practicing off screen and looking at the footage of what I did became pretty apparent to me what I missed out on. So we are back here in the Lost Woods because there's another path here that I did not take. Now let's see if I can get to it without getting beaten up too badly. I can hear one of our cat friends mewing at us. There he is. We can't get over there yet. We're going back to this screen. I completely forgot. There's a path up here. Now, what mysteries and wonder is this path going to lead us to? Will it lead us to any wonder and mysteries? Or will it just be like bad stuff? We're going to find out. Ooh, hello. That might have... Ooh. There's a goodie. Don't know how to get it yet. Probably has something to do with you guys. Well, let's just take you all out first. Didn't seem to make a difference. But we will have to remember this area. Ow. Yes, the Haya Miyazaki ooze monsters need to be dealt with. No, up. There you go. There you go. That's a nice collection of money and power ups. Now, they kind of remind me of, like, jester heads. Don't know if that's the intention, though. Alright, don't go down... Oh, wait. We can't go down there. Can we go down here? Yes, we can, and that's how we're going to get that item. Do this nice and quick. All right, so we'll let them go about their merry way. She probably doesn't hurt to get rid of them. And we're gonna drop here. Nope. Close though. I think we'll get it this time. Let's wait and see what it is, and then we'll decide whether or not we should, you know, maybe go back and save, or if we're okay to keep going. So dropping down here wasn't enough. 
Maybe... Ooh. We can use that as a guide. Swalark has learned to shoot further. Nice. Now, I don't think that is, uh... I don't think that's enough to require us to go back and save. So we'll just keep going forward. We will grab every little bit of money we can get our hands on, though. Because we can afford another power-up now. And I still have the four... Was it three or four potions we bought from Auntie? Should also read the diary, but I think I think I read them all. It's sad that a beautiful pair of guards see each other so rarely. I wish I had enough health, at least temporarily, to replace one of them. But I'm not as strong as they are, and I cannot handle this task. I need to come back when I'm stronger. Hmm. We met the blacksmith. And the little boy. And the two brothers went to look for the golden fish. So yeah, nothing we haven't read already. Okay. Do not go down there, though. not too bad. Alright, if we go to the left, there's a question mark, which will hopefully be something good, and not something bad like a boss fight. Now, a boss fight isn't really bad, it's just I don't think... Oh, hello little kitty. I just don't know if we're really prepared for a boss fight. But hey, save point. Okay, and this... This looks promising. Hey girl, are you lost? It's dangerous here. Where is your home? I'm not here by accident, kind knight. I'm looking for a path. Well, here you can find many paths. Even one to Chernobog. Chernobog? Chernobog. The dark and evil god. Which special place are you looking for? Not a place, I'm looking for my mother. A way to reach her lies in the east. And I'm going west. My name is Zodormi. Let's see, Tiver, Tervdormi, Tervdormir, Tervdormir. My name is Alesta. Why can't such a powerful knight go through the forest? Looks like in the way into the west is clear. Don't assume that these twigs and bushes would stop me. If I wanted, I could pull the whole forest. Another force has sealed up all of the exits of the forest. Have you seen any of Chernobog, Chernobog's minions around? You mean those demons with the hoods? They've infiltrated the whole forest. Exactly. It's hard to believe, but they were all human once, like you and me. They chose to worship Chernobog, and consequently, they lost their human nature. They conduct, dark <clears throat> they conduct dark rituals in this forest to summon their evil god into our world. The High Priestess controls them from some place around here, but there's a problem. Too many pathways are blocked and I can't get to her. I can't stop her. And how could I help clear them? I know that there are three in Chernobog's altars. <clears throat> I know that there are three of Chernobog's altars in the forest. If you destroyed them, it would open all the paths. But also, 
Close to the altars, Chernobog's minions become invulnerable. And while the altars are still intact, they're unaffected by the blows of my sword. Hmm. Maybe I'd be a small and swift enough to sneak past them? It would be a dangerous mission, but if you succeeded, I'd be able to, to reach the priestess and stop Chernobog. And you'd clear the way into the east. Alright, so we have our next goal. We gotta find these altars. You look different. Spiderbot, we need your assistance now more than ever. Good job. I knew I could always count on you. Okay, there is a way up here. And that must be them being invulnerable. Get him, spider bot. Okay, we took out one. Let's go get the rest of them. Ouch. Okay, I brought that one on myself. Be honest, I bring most of them on myself. Spider bot is mighty. Alright, we took out one. Let's save and we'll tell him. See if that changes his dialogue. Destroy Chenerbog's altars. Chenerbog. I used to know how to pronounce that. Destroy Chenerbog's altars, and I will stop the evil that's controlling the forest. Do not go down there. Hmm. I'm watching how those skulls move. Seems fine. Okay. The little jumping around. If I could hit you. All right, and run. Get him, Spider Bot. feeling sneaky, huh? We can do that trick, too. We have hedgehogs. Oh! Now you're just gonna hit the wall and blow up. Oh, this has been kind of fun. I kind of like dealing with these guys. Okay, let's go this way, because this way leads to a save point. Also, wheat leads to that witch that was over here. I don't think she's around. Well, she's still around. She's waiting for her broom. We don't have her broom yet. Hello, chicken lady. So since we got enough money for it, we're going to head back to town. All 
All right, blacksmith friend. Let's upgrade this one. And we'll come back when we have some more money. You know, I haven't really been using it, but these... What, what, what are they called? This Tucson can destroy the demons. I haven't really been using it on them. But it is an option. choice is up. Well, not really our only choice. Or it's one choice. Oh, problem. Go get him, spider bot. That is two altars down. Gotta go find the third one now. here. Well, we got another another altar, so try to get past these enemies quick. Don't give them a lot of chance to do damage to us. Okay, and that's all three of them. Let's see what the kind knight has to say. I didn't look to see if, if or how much less damage we're getting from attacks now. So that's one. Good feeling. I have a good feeling about our knight friend. But you know what? You know, better to be safe than sorry. Now I was going somewhere. Better to be safe than sorry, so we're going to just, you know, save before we talk to the knight. Spider-Bot, you are just a hero. He's gone. Well, with the knight not here, that means he's gone off somewhere. He said he was going in the forest. So, we'll go... Where should we go? We couldn't make it through here. The jump was too high.
That's not too bad, only two points of damage. So where, oh where, could he have gone? I'm trying to think, what was blocking us that he would have removed? Check this way. Ooh, that was a little creepy. Hearing those wizards whisper. Hang on, let's try something. There we go. So yeah, we can use our... Tucson leaves to take care of those guys real quick. Tutson? I don't know. Kitty. Yeah, but we can also take care of them pretty quick at Spider-Bot, so... You know, whatever works. That's what he did. He broke the barrier that was over here. So, where were there others? There were a few more. Probably, probably that one over there by the uh, teleporter. like you to fly us this way. Okay, there's our friend waiting for her ride. Yep. He smashed the barrier over here. Which probably means boss fight. Yep. Gorislava, you're my sister. What has happened to you? Was it you, my brother, who destroyed all my altars in the forest? Listen to me. There is no sword in my hand. I beg you to come to your senses and to stop with your plans. Do you really think you know anything about my plans, Vedomer? You perform a ritual to summon Chinnerbog. It's not difficult to guess that you wish to destroy our world. Why would I want to destroy it, my brother? Were we destroyed when those beasts from the forest ransacked our home? Gorislava, shut up and listen. Our parents were eaten alive, Zirdomir. I was lying in my bed, struggling not to scream. I knew that if I made a single sound, they would notice me and eat me too. Can you guess what else I knew? Please stop. I knew that my brother wouldn't be coming to protect me. My brother was far, far away. He was trying to become a real knight. Did that happen, Fyrdomir? Look at you now. You're as big as a mountain. Not you can protect anyone you want. Except for me and our parents. Gorislava. I could have never known that they would go to our house. If you were there, they wouldn't have even come. Who needs a brother like you? I'm trying to protect you right now. Are you trying to protect me from Chenerbang? You think I would summon him to destroy our world? I don't care about our world. I summoned him to do your job. To protect me. Send that monstrosity back to Nav or I... 
Oh. Or what? You are useless, Virdomir. You're weak. You're not my brother. Well, we... We showed up on some real family problems, didn't we? Hey, who's there? Come out. It was me who destroyed your altars. <laughs> it's not really a big deal to destroy some old pieces of wood. You think you can stop me with your little familiars? My familiars have faced stronger enemies than you. <laughs> Don't you realize that most of your pets can't even hurt me? And take a look at my familiar. It's a whole god. Out of my way, girl. Alright, so we probably can't hurt her. What about him? Nope. Ooh, what if we throw... Nope. No, it doesn't hurt her either. Ooh, there we go. Oh, careful now. Oh, so she goes and restores the olders after we destroy them. Okay, spider bot. We need you. Okay. So we got this. We got this figured out. Oh, there's the dead body of her brother. Wow. Alright, so actually, if we just alternate back and forth like this, we're going to be fine. I think I'll switch to the healing potion in case we need it. Because we're doing okay so far. Kind of got her in our... Kind of got her in our rhythm. We got it figured out. heal. Won't hurt to be at max. Ooh, Spiderbot didn't hurt her. Got her. No, no, no! I suppose you should have listened to your brother. You... You don't even understand what you've done. I thought I stopped the one who wanted to destroy the world. You set Trinabog free! Is, isn't you who set him free? I'm not the one to blame. He was my servant. I just wanted to find the beast who killed my parents. Now Trinabog is free and he can do whatever he wants. But you killed your brother in front of my eyes. Vir Dormir. He's alive. But he's cursed with Chernobog's dark magic. I could heal him if... If the evil god didn't get away, right? If you didn't waste all my magical powers on you. They helped me to control the monster. I'm capable of keeping life in his body for a short time. We need to find a way to cure him, otherwise he will die. I can't leave him here alone. He's the only thing left for me. You attacked him! Told you I didn't want to kill him, you silly girl. I don't even know where to look for the herbs to cure his curse. You need to find out from the experienced medicine men. Don't do it for me. Do it for Zerdormir. Or Virdormir. Take the scroll. The spell will help. Alesta has learned a new skill. Double jump is now available. Oh, heck yeah. 
Oh, a pig. Hello, bacon. It looks like this is one of Swineherd's lost pigs. I think Varn could carry her back to the village, but he wouldn't be able to fight. Okay, so we got a double jump. That's awesome. Does it, it looks like it uses some of our magic. No. Come on, Bacon Bits. Come on. No, bait. Come on. We can't get too far from him, can we? We gotta go to all those places now that we can double jump. Wait. There's more if we go to the left? No. We'll find out. We'll find out later. Come on, bacon. Could you carry this pig? No. Come back. Take the pig. <sighs> Alright. I'll have to take the pig to the town ourselves. And he's not there. Great. Yeah, it's not like we have to go far. All right, bacon bits. Oh, I get it now. The bird is carrying him. But while the bird is carrying him, he can't attack. So we'd have to put him down. All right, it's not far. If I'm quick and careful, we could probably get there without even attacking. I thought we could get through this without attacking. I was wrong. How are we doing on health? We're okay. And we can double jump. I'm so happy. We're going to have so much fun double jumping. Take us home. Wow, it really is one of my pigs. Did you pry it from between Volkolov's teeth? Your pig's disappearing was never one of was never Volkolov's doing, as it happens. They were dark rituals held in the forest to summon Chernobog. Oh, so maybe the rest of my pigs are still roaming around the forest. I don't think that some of them can be roaming anymore. Well, I see your familiar helped you to bring this one back. What's strange is that I gave it to another girl. What? Oh, Varen is your familiar. From what I can see, he's not mine anymore. Anyway, I don't need him. But I could still have something useful for him, which I, which could be useful to you. With this scroll, Varen has learned to move faster. Attack speed increased. Wow, thanks! So yeah, not bad. We got a double jump, and our bird can attack faster now. And I think that is pretty good for an episode. The question is, what fun are we going to have now that we can double jump? And we got all these extra places to explore. Well, we'll find out next time. I'll see you then.